My love of journalism spawned from my father. I remember my father sitting at his large desk in his revolving chair, zealously involved in his work, checking fact after fact, stuck inside his office, which released a smell of sunflower seeds and banana peels. He told me that what he does suspends time, if only for a little bit, for the Huntington Beach community. That intrigued me. At the age of eight, time seemed to stretch forever for me. Lost in a world of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and the newest SpongeBob on TV. And yet, I was hooked on this concept. What did other people do with their time? As an avid early reader, I was drawn to stories of fantasy. The magical world of Harry Potter and the cliffhanging Lord of the Rings. I had never paused to think that ordinary people led lives filled with fascinating stories of their own. Then I read some of my father's work about local heroes, people who were making history every day. Even if they weren't saving the wizarding world, they were making an impact in their community. One time, we walked out to the beach together to interview a surfer who had just beaten the world record, me carrying my father's microphone trailing behind him. I loved how people took notice and gathered around. Even children sprinted out of the waves, sand in their hair, and skinned the color of the restaurant at the end of the pier. Everyone wanted to know what was going on, and the more their anticipation built, the more mine did as well. The media age soon developed, and so did my interest. My childhood naivety was disappearing with every click of the mouse, but I'm still growing, along with the media.